Okay, this is the breaker box, the electric load center. This is a version 2, since I messed the other one up so horribly. I'll probably take the uh, one we just did and just tag it to the condensing unit. But we're not talking about the condensing unit now, we're talking about this. We're missing our sealant right up underneath here. This all looks fine. This is our meter. 200 amps, 240, we kind of expected that, but we are missing our sealant right in here. And we'll come back and we'll put the cover back on. I'm moving along inside of here. The home faces south, remember that. So the home is facing south, and this is the east interior wall. That was the east exterior wall. This is our load center, breaker box, electric service panel, call it what you will. So I got a big long speech about this. This is handwriting, this is not printing. Okay, the manufacturer and the code says that this should be printed. This is not my idea of a good time, okay? I didn't wake up this morning thinking I was just going to like, okay, change the rules. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. So come along here. We're not supposed to have more than a sixteenth of an inch gap between the cabinet and the wall. Now see this cover? This cover fits right on top of here. Check this out. All right, see this edge? The cover's supposed to reach the edge. So now we've got some distance here. I come over here and then we've got even more distance here. So, reason being, if this panel, if this cabinet melts down, all right, well then the fire will just go right through here, wrap around your walls and just go on up and, you know, you got a bad day. You got a bad day for sure. So, yeah, not properly labeled, got too large of a gap. What else, bud? Oh, give me a minute. I can think about something. Give me a minute. Okay, this is your range. It's fused right for the range. These cables, they're number 10. They're number 10. It's supposed to be number 8. 8's larger than 10. I'm going to hold it real steady so you can zoom in on that. It's supposed to be a 10. Alright. Also, we're supposed to have a lockout here. That's a lockout. It's a little metal clip that the builder would just like slide on there. It doesn't cost them pennies. All right. So that way you could turn the oven off and lock it out. And then you could go in because all the wires are behind the oven, the range in the kitchen. All the, 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 the plug is behind it. So you turn it off to work on it. Turn this off. Flip the lockout switch. And that way you're reasonably safe. And I'd put a note on it as well. So we don't have our lockout. We've got undersized cables right here, and we've got too large of a gap, and we've got handwriting, okay? Also, this is our UFER, U-F-E-R, okay, that's our bonding, so we've got that right here on the same wall, so that's a good thing, but it should be marked, our bonding location should be marked inside the cabinet, and unlike this, it can be handwritten, all right, but your, your main ground and your bonding location should either be inside of this or the other cabinet they should be written i get it an electrician he, he's going to figure that out pretty fast i think i figured it out if i can figure it out an electrician can figure it out what if you got a big freezer right here and he doesn't know where it's at what if you got a big cabinet over there he's got to start looking he knows it's going to be somewhere close but that's an assumption so it's supposed to be marked inside so we did not mark our bonding and our Grounding location, we handwritten, did not seal all of our cabinets outside, that's handwritten, that's undersized, that doesn't have a lockout on it.